What's going on guys? Berg's back here for another one. Today, as requested, the Skull Long Cut Apple Blend. And before we go any further, let's take a look at the presentation. Um, so we've got a lime greenish background, uh, gets quite a bit lighter in the center as do all of these, um, silver rim and then a gray, uh, crescent with a pinch better since 1934. Um, taking a look at the side label, skull branding, long cut, net weight 1.2 ounces, Tex Class M, U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company. Nashville, Tennessee. Phone number and skull.com. Barcode. Uh, then we have the sell by date on the back on the guaranteed fresh raised rim. And within we have sell by March 24th, 2019. It looks like they've changed the ink on these. They used to be like a yellow, and this is more looks like uh, white. And it's a little bit, I mean, it's still okay to see, but it's not as uh, definite as the yellow had been in the past. So I just bought this at Wawa and a nice Wawa coffee. And I forgot to check when the original Skull Apple review was. I know it has been quite a while. I will make sure to um, put that in the comments. So, this was um, this was requested after I did the citrus, and so far with the revisited playlist, uh, we're looking at skull spearmint, uh, skull citrus, and now skull apple. So, I I am thinking, I like I said, I I am the overall plan is to sprinkle in revisited videos here and there, kind of. Either as people ask or as I want to make a video and don't have any new product around. Uh, so they, they will not be like daily or anything like that. But it, it will be, be, I think it will become somewhat regular to have uh, revisited. Obviously, like I said, the preference being on things i did back in like 2015 2016 as opposed to stuff that has been done recent uh so we've got nothing on the inside of the can lid on skull um a fully packed can oh yeah that's a familiar scent um whew. so if you've never had skull apple it's highly flavored okay it is there is there's no doubt that this is this is apple now it's i would call it a it, and it's similar to the can as a green apple type thing it smells very smells tart sweet and sour um probably the best way i could describe it so once again this was never my favorite fruit flavor um, going along with how crisp is a mix of the two, which I really don't like, of apple and citrus. Um, historically, I have not cared for this too much. Of course, I, I thought it was the best, well, not the best thing ever, but I thought it was an interesting concept when I was new to dipping that they could have an apple flavor. Uh, however, in the last three years, it's not one that I've given much thought to. So, Skull... High quality cut. Um, the 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 length of the cut is not the longest out there, as Stoker's of course is. But pinchability, I don't know that I've ever had a problem with a skull long cut. So maybe we'll go a little extra there, just a wee bit. So, price on it, I was able to take note today, actually, um, instead of estimating. Now, I was just at, here at Wawa um, in Pennsylvania. 
Wawa has, since I've been buying dip, I've noticed they have become a little less competitive compared to other local stores. There was a time where Wawa and Sheets kind of, they were they're on the same street in one town over. So they, I noticed that they kind of had the best price in town, rivaling all the tobacco shops and anything else. Uh, for whatever reason, Wawa seems to have bumped up a bit. So this was uh, $3.61 and standard skull is four twenty one. So probably probably a little bit higher than than the average for the area i would say and now sheets after wawa kind of increased their price sheets was still keeping competitive however now if you go in there they have jacked up the prices on anything if you buy a single can but if you use your rewards card and get two cans then it brings it back down so like you'll go in buy two cans of Grizzly and get a dollar off and then it'll be back to the the town average price I would say so that's how they get you there but anyway um, not to go into that too much but this is the uh, the blends then are at a discount compared to uh, the the regular Skull line as is Skull Extra as is Skull Snooze So, like I said, the cut on this is, is with any skull, you're going to have a, a perfectly all right cut. I, that's why I think it's the brand is very good for a beginner because it's it packs well. It, for the most part, stays together. It floats a little bit, but it's a good introduction to what else is on the market. I mean, yeah, Grizzly's okay and, and Copenhagen's okay, but this is... You know, with Skull, you're not dealing with excess moisture and you're not dealing with too much burning or anything like that. So, uh, the brand as a whole is a good starting point. Because, you know, the thing is, if you... Let's say you started on Stokers. Okay, you're going to be like, oh, this cut's awesome, and then try something else and it would be like starting dipping again. Uh, because you wouldn't be used to a cut half the size. So that's why I think this is still the best starting dip. Um, but yeah, no problems with it at all. Um, the, the taste on this, still, still not a huge fan, okay? It is... Comparable with the, the the elements of the citrus being the 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 strongness of the flavor um there isn't really any or or maybe very minimal any hint of tobacco flavor in this at all it's mostly a tart apple um yeah it, it, leaning to the sour side but there's a lot of sugar in it, if that makes sense. Um, like I said, when I probably when I reviewed this before, I, I wasn't too crazy on the flavor either. Um, however, that will definitely appeal to some people. Now, if they were able to make just a sweeter apple without the tart sourness, that would be something I would enjoy. Um, who else makes apple? Uh, the Timberwolf, I think. And, well, there's Stoker's Apple Chew, and which I haven't had, surprisingly. And there was a Swisher Chew called Jackson's Apple Jack. I do not know if that's still made or not. Um, oh, and Kayak. Well, Kayak. But, you know, so it's... It, it is somewhat a popular flavor for, as far as flavored dips go, um, but to me, I, you know, I, it's not like, this is probably going to be the best out of the dips. Now, I haven't had the chew to compare, but, um, 
as far as flavor dips go, you know, it's okay. It, it's it's not for me, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's a fairly safe dip. It's a nice beginner dip. I think the nicotine is there, but low um, or low enough for you know the average person new to dipping to give it a shot. Um, you know, if you're looking for tobacco flavor, you're not going to find it much with this. It's it's mostly going to be the flavor, the sweet, the sour apple type thing that I've been describing. So, um, elastability, I think it'll probably go pretty pretty long. Uh, I probably won't leave this in too long, being that it's not that preferable to me. But up probably up to. I would I would put it to 45 minutes. I you know there's not a lot of floaters. There's not a lot of reason for it to um, you know break apart or anything. But the flavor probably will fade a bit towards the end, being that it is got so much at the beginning. Um, so I'm not too sure on what I'll uh, pick up next. I may very well continue with the Skull Fruit line and do. Uh, cherry peach berry um, as I know that I haven't done any of those in quite some time and it, that, that'll be a nice that'll be a few to revisit for me for sure there are some that I wouldn't be too necessarily hot on revisiting um, from back in the day but I wouldn't mind doing the fruits again I yeah, like I said it, it has been a long time so um, they do make, they, and I believe these are the three still, they make berry, apple, and citrus in pouches, but not the others. And they had spearmint in pouches for a while and then discontinued it. Um, the pouch videos I have reviewed more recently, uh, so I probably won't be doing those again just yet. I Because those hadn't come out until either 2016 or 2017 probably probably late 2016 I think it was um, but anyway make sure to check out suit and tie dip and chew guy Winnington outdoors uh, dirty Pat Walsh uh, a couple comments on that uh, Winnington has done Longhorn peach recently skullberry recently Stoker's red supreme bold which I've never seen recently Suit and Tie is working through, I believe now he will be on the second tier of the Fine Cut Natural series. Um, I will be excited to see his third tier as those are almost all awful. <laughs> um, and he has also imported from uh, Great Britain some nasal snuffs, which I've, I've been enjoying that because they there are some interesting products in that in that as well that I have you know limited knowledge on um, so uh, Dirty Pat Walsh is got some dip content out lately he is working on uh, well the, the one I watched last night was the Skull original snooze which is only available in Canada which is quite a different flavor than our Skull snooze uh, but at the end of the day, it's still Skull Snooze. <laughs> and, of course, Wayside Lee 83, Maryland Dipper, Tune to Trey, who is pumping out content as well. It has a great uh, song that he uh, wrote himself and performed. And he has got Southern Pride review up and Cope Smooth Wintergreen he also just did. Um, did I miss anybody? Real Talk Studios, uh... Thanks for all the comments. Zach LaFleur, as always, thanks for your comments. Um, Jeff Gravel. East Tennessee Dippers. I'm working through the, the regular commenters. Um, let me know if you want a, you know, a quick shout out. Obviously, I have that regular group, if you will, because we're kind of all watching each other and all making videos and uh, everybody's kind of watching each other right now, which I like. Um, but if you would like, you know, your name out there, please let me know. We can we can certainly take a look at your channel if you've got content. Or if you just want, hey, I comment all the time, shout me out, let me know. Uh, rating out of 10 on the Skull Apple, I'm going to go 
I'm going to go 6 out of 10. It's perfectly all right, just that the flavor isn't for me. And wow, I have gone on and on in this video, apparently. So um, we're going to wrap up there. Uh, we'll see what we come up with next. Probably more Skull Fruit flavors. And I'm also going to work my way through. I have two Smoky Mountain remaining, um, a couple Mint Snuff, a couple Grinds. I've got to locate some of that though. So um, at some point we will, I will pick up uh, some more herbal snuffs. But do take care, um, have a beautiful day and God bless.